You absolute dafty. I know you opened my chicken coop. You won't be surprised when the barn start fucking burning. Don't point your fat finger at me, you headless cock. You ain't got no fucking proof. No more than whining a cow's teats. You're the only bastard that could have opened the cages. What with being jealous of my hens, a whole brood of twisted fail blue barbezos. Those plucked scrawny pigeons ain't winning nothing, but most took it rag with those. I will win the contest. I got me some bulgarton wee silkies and glad golden dumpies. Pa! Shite birds with rather see dead in a life in such misery. Wait till I get me a chicken pack, you jobby crows breeder. Say that again, I'm gonna scalp your behind. Come on, calm down and tell us what's the matter. The matter is this lavy hide here. Lost me beautiful chickens, and I can run for the best crooked veils breeder. I think ye howling birds went and lopped their own heads off. <laughs> the poor fuckers. I know my way around gathering chickens. Is there a reward? Obviously, you glag it. Get me chicken back, and which fairy will go no past you. I must warn you, if he gives you a chicken, boil it for three days at least. Or add any can, what'll happen to your guts? Your booms out the window. Slog. Mm. Here, what are the chickens we have to gather? The chicken's a chicken. It's a crooked veil blue barbazoos. It's freaking obvious they're blue. So, you are a foul expert. Impressive. I just see an ugly chicken. Says he doesn't care about what color it is. The taste is the same. So did you find me chickens, the poor scunners? We're working on it, but poultry investigations take skill, you know. in here.
It's scandalous. It's been two months since my last wage. Sorry, your residency forms are missing some information for payment. But I live here, God dang it. Doesn't matter. I must fill out a rectification request. Do you have your pay slip for last month? I don't, on account of not getting paid. I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do without your latest pay slip. I'm very busy. To serve is to be in servitude, you know. What if I cut your feet off to make earrings? Got time for that? No need, my lord. I'm all ears. Good. We're looking for one of Gladifura's statuettes. Ever heard about those? Uh, can't say it rings a bell, no. I'm not really into statuettes. Useless trinkets collecting dust on the shelves. There used to be a lot of those on the third floor, but thankfully it's off limits now. Really? Why is that? No one knows. At any rate, statuettes are a servant's sworn enemy. Break one, and the MPCC will have you whipped. That what? Minions Punishment Cooperative Committee. The authority on all punishments dealt in the Dungeons Co-op. Which reminds me, I really gotta go. Sorry. Crumb, I should drop his feet off anyway. Busy. We? Who's we? Me and my astral double. I'm trying out fresh combat techniques. What strange weapons? So good. Not surprising for an arms room. What kind of techniques? Astral double perfect parries. I can dodge every attack thanks to my ethereal double's perception. So, you're skilled in wizardry then? I'm well above all that. What I'm doing is called innovative sensory disruption. So you wave your arms around and act all high and mighty? Nothing can touch me. Even high-level attacks. Try me, and behold! Whoa! <laughs> nice work, bud. You got him good. And how? I feel like we're going in circles.
better since you've started acting like a true leader. Thanks. I'm starting to understand how best to use your magic. Kissing each other's butts won't kill any orcs. This dungeon is nothing like those I learned about in class. Hey, look at that weird guy. I'd say he and I are professionally analogous. Anal corners. Is that fancy truck for butt? Um, actually, you're probably thinking of... I'm no ranger. I'm a wanderer. Aren't those the same thing? Absolutely not. Wanderers are true adventurers. <laughs> what a sick bird! Well, we're on an epic quest for Glalfura's statuette. We're not standing here smoking on a pipe like a smartass. I don't have any intel on this subject matter. I must say, you have a strange way of mingling with strangers. Well, one should be strange with strangers, right? Hey you, where do you think you're going looking like a bunch of bums? Well sir, I bid you to hear that we're awaited inside, my good man. Ha! And I'm Gazor's stepsister. Well, uh, nice job hiding your tentacles. What? Uh, only rich people, powerful wizards and famous artists can get in here. Precisely. We come in the company of an elven artist. Yes, I'm talented with both my voice and the flute. Just thinking about it makes me want to barf. Go suck a rock, shorty! Sorry, clowns aren't allowed in. Wait, we also have a powerful wizard. Yes, um, I've mastered the arcanes of wizardry. Yeah, right. You still have the robes of a novice and acne on your schnoz. Go on, get! You're polluting the money bag's air! Shoot. We won't get in easily without a powerful wizard. Or we could just bash their skulls in. They look well trained and will sound the alarm quickly. It's the one flicker's fault. She looks like a chimney sweep. Uh, well, wizardry takes a very long time to master. He told us an artist would do. Maybe we could find a painter? My cousin Oilspill was a cavern painter. As he always said, with Oilspill, three coats will fit the bill. <laughs> I think we'd better look for someone more along the lines of a bard. Actually, there's a minstrel here, next to the stage. They hate music. Why did we pick this guy again? Because the party wasn't full. Dula, I could do Wh Which friend are you talking about? Oh, again with your imaginary friend who supposedly eats what's in your bags? Look 
looking for an artist who can sing. We don't need a demonstration. A mute singer will do. Oh, what a lovely company. Ragtag, but determined. Courageous, yet modest. We could write a song about your feet. Yes, we could. We'd do lots of stuff. Like that time you chased chickens all over the village. That was a long time ago. I'm a seasoned adventurer now. And I'm an ice troll fartiste. Chickens, chickens. He ran after the chickens. Chick Shut up, or I smack you. The masses just can't fathom the works of great artists. Anyway, we need to get into the VIP room, but apparently can't do so without the company of a musician. I see. I guess you could help me in return, even though you don't look very enlightened. Don't overdo it. We won't join your choir. No, no, no. You're not getting to sing with that guy as friendly as he looks. Red? Surprising as it may seem to you, dear fellow travelers, some inhabitants, a gaggle of simpletons, want my head on a spike. Apparently, I sing too much for their lowly taste. And you want us to lend them a spike? No, I... Save me from those brutes, and I'll get you into the VIP room. I'm stuck in this inn for fear of meeting my untimely demise. Sounds like a fair deal? Marvelous. It's most important that you stay close to me. They could jump us at any moment. Not too close. I don't want to trip over your shower curtain. In order for you to gain entry into this domain of the ostentatiously wealthy, I suggest that we find you some fresh garments. You don't want to look like this plebeian. There's nothing wrong with my armor. You would need the robes of the Master of the Arcane at the very least. Make your wizard look more formidable. That's true. You can judge a wizard by its cover. Conjurers of cheap tricks are often seen moping around halflings, wearing tattered rags with crappy staffs and lousy hats. The dungeon's basement holds a shop with a large choice of clothes. It's currently closed, but I know the saleswoman. She'll open the door if we do the secret knock. A knock on her skull? How boorish. No! Knock harder! Knock harder! Password! Oh shit, there's a password. Uh, how about a clue? I... it's on the tip of my tongue. Easy. Three syllables. Makes music. Mandolin! A crossbow! You can't play music with that kind of bow. That's because you're stupid. Wrong. Oh shit, there's a password. Uh, how about a clue? I... it's on the tip of my tongue. Easy. Three syllables. Makes music. Mandolin! A crossbow! You can't play music with that kind of bow. That's because you're stupid. Wrong.
Here we are. It's closed. Let me try the secret knock. Hello. Would you like to purchase some of our magic objects and weapons? No, we're broke. Well, come back when you aren't. No, no, hang on, we can pay. Wait, wait, hold on, we do have some gold. Ouch! Hey, back off! My gold stays in my pockets. I have idea. You again? <laughs> Ouch! Oh. By the harmony of the one piano, don't! Oh, fuck me, it worked. Easy. Oh, heavens. Violence is not the answer. Works better than you flapping your lacy collar, you clown. We can sack the store. Oh, and maybe find a few pretty bracelets or some hair bands. Oh, what could make me look like a master wizard? The Wizardess leveled up. You whip. Password. Oh shit, there's a password. Uh, how about a clue? I, it's on the tip of my tongue. Easy, three syllables, makes music. Mandolin! A crossbow! You can't play music with that kind of bow. That's because you're stupid. Wrong. This dungeon is nothing like those I learned about in class. <gasps> Bull's Pizzle! Look, those robes belong to the Archmage Thalsadoom! Robes? It's a relic. Garments for wizards. Oh, dash it. I think this could really work for me. And it's free. You wouldn't see me giving up a coin for some pink fabric. <laughs> it's on point. It's not ours.
Hi, there's that annoying singer covered in drapes. Let's tear him a new one. My friends, henchmen come forth with their mates. See me past the pearly gates. The fuck does that mean? He's speaking in a precious manner. Gold is precious. This is just stupid. Enough talk. Let's fight! Oh, have you scalp? Hold your ground! My turn, scum. Business as usual, lads. Hakina time! Prepare your ass. I could shoot your crabs off from a mile away. My turn now. Business as usual, lads. Hey there, I'm the ranger from Lube. Tunga My turn, damn it! I could shoot your crabs off for a while away. Kena time! Oh! This is gonna hurt. Ow! This is bad. Here we go. <laughs> Ow! 
In your dreams. Move it, you're in my way. And move! Fire me! Okay, now this is teamwork. Spread that one. My turn. In your dreams. Mercenaries fight for money. Us? Well, there's adventure.
Alas, may our resolve become stronger before adversity. Shoot your crabs off a mile away. Ha! Ugh. The Barbarian leveled up. I was thirsty. A words cannot express my gratitude. Meanwhile, let us compose an epic jest for this epic battle. The battle is only epic if you have crushed your foes, and you can watch them die before you, and hear the lamentations of their women. That is epic. Color me surprised, that is quite a long speech for a guy like you. Only to praise Crom. Hey, you again! Wherever death strikes, I clean up the mess. And by the way, I see you've made a mess again. I could have broom off several that yum yum. He says he could eat some of the corpses, if that helps. Does he care about anything but food? Well, he does like poetry. He's delicate that way. As if I cared. We're looking for a statuette. Maybe you could tell us where it is? Helping adventurers is not really my thing, you know. Enjoy your job? Picking up all these little gory bits? No, can't say I do. Why? Well, let's say we wander aimlessly in circles and don't find the statuette. We kill a lot of monsters. <laughs> catch my drift? Oh, yeah. I catch your drift. Hmm, I remember vaguely that this dungeon used to have a master. He kept some ugly statuettes, but everyone seems to have forgotten about him. Strange. We've been told this place was run by a co-op. That's right. Well, seems like my memory is not what it used to be. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Oh, what a pretty drawing. What is it? I feel like we're going in circles. I'm 
getting better and better. Well, new skills. Yeah, I'm strong. Ugh, I am stronger. Dwarf's carve maps are great. Heavier, but sturdier. So, let's update the map. You there, no trespass. I am a powerful wizard. Behold my robes, you bumpkin. Uh, sorry, Your Highness, I thought you were someone else. Well, well I mean, please come in. But as for those other dinguses... They are with me. It's my entourage. Well, if that's the case, then sure. We allow wizards' minions in if they don't cause any trouble. Wait, what? I'm not your minion. Shut your face, you're gonna fuck this up. <laughs> what? Uh, never mind, he just uh, stepped on his own beard. Well, my friends, it has been a pleasure. I'm expected at the tavern, but I'll gladly team up with you should our paths ever cross again. Oh, there's beauty in his every word. Team up? Uh, sure, why not? Or we could step on his hat and piss on his instrument. <laughs> now let's find help, not unwanted attention. Fat purses everywhere. They're even dressed like women. Let's sack this place. Unrestrained fool, you'll get pulverized. There are powerful wizards in here. Cut the bullshit. We're for the statuette, and... Hey, who's the special snowflake coming there? Good day to you. I'm looking for soldiers of fortune with great skill in battle. Well, uh, we're on a quest at the moment, but uh, maybe we could... I'm a priestess of Euclid, and I come from noble blood. Are you the leader of this heterogeneous and rustic company? Oh, yeah, yeah. definitely heterogen... Have you? Leader, my butt. 
<clears throat> You're a priestess of the god of healing, is that right? Absolutely. Healers are for wimps. Our foes should be the one with wounds, not us. Actually, I've yet to be ordained despite my respectable blood. Studies are a tiresome endeavor. To become a priestess, I was sent to triumph over a strange monster. A wraith wearing a hood, haunting the halls of the dungeon. His form is that of a wretched thief. Oh, heck, the thief! The good friend, though. Who? The, the thief of our party! We've lost him! Oh, right, yeah. I still don't remember him. Assist me, and I shall deign to be a part of your band of rogues and ill-bred people. I've always had a soft spot for unshaven scoundrels. Men like you, in fact. Really? It just so happens that I, uh... No time for you to turn on the charm. The thief going missing ugh, smells fishy. Well, she's making a bad impression on me. In that case, I like her. Oh. Anyway, we came here to ask around about a statuette. Oh, looking for some art pieces? Thanks to my noble roots, I have great knowledge of everything expensive. Men tend to cover me with costly gifts. We can talk about this later. Huh? Yeah, okay, so we'll take you. With us, I mean. By the sandals of Navlu, that'd be perfect. Spending time with commoners is always so quaint. Let's deal with this evil beast. He's been spotted on the first floor, apparently. By Euclid's divine lancet, there he is! Huh? You guys? I've got a bad feeling about this. Did you see that? He looked like someone we've met. Yes, but who? I don't know. The elf, maybe? No way! I've got way better hair! What about the ogre? The Kalas Balaf! I think it was the thief. Our thief. Well then, let's track him down, my lowly companions. By the holy stitches, it's him! Let's destroy him! Leave me alone, would you? You ignored me when I was alive, and now you won't quit following me! Stop it! Drats! Missed him again. Damn it! I'm sick of running around in the underbrush! No kidding! How come you have such tiny legs? Mines have low ceilings, you douchebaguette! That's not logical! If the ceiling's low, shouldn't you have a shorter head? Or maybe it's the floor that's too high? Yeah, I think you should keep a safe distance from logic. You should keep her distance from us, too. <gasps> Look! There's that ghastly character again! Drat is toast! Let's break all his shin bones, even the ones in his arms. To think that you didn't even lift a finger when I was burnt to ashes! Mouth to mouth on a pile of ash? <laughs> Not so easy. We could have swept him under a rug. Much tidier. <laughs> even I'm not that mean. Huh? No, that's just basic hygiene. I'll make you regret these slights. Yes, it was mean. Not at all. I'm just saying it's better to sweep the floor. Are you still ignoring me? I hate you! You'll pay for this! What are you gonna do? Attack us with a butter knife? I'm gonna yum yum screwed off. Um, he says he likes butter. You just don't get it, do you? <laughs> You've just stepped into the deadly trap I've devised to enact my vengeance. I've lured you this far to bring you down and feast on your entrails. Come to me, Shadow Warriors! Now 
you can't ignore me. Hey, are you listening? You can't see me. Kept. Toga, Swala, Bodwaza! Let us thank the healer. Vengeance awaits! The dead should stay in the ground to feed the trees.
I'll feed their bones to the dogs. The dwarf leveled up. Ugh. Reminds me of potions class and that awful teacher with the greasy hair. Amazing! Despite your lowly roots, you've been very helpful. Kind of like my father's dogs. Huh. What a darling young lady. Maybe, but she has healing spells. Really huge arguments. What's a huge argument? That's how those pigs refer to what's under our dresses. But I'm not wearing anything under my dress. Stay cool. Surrounded by ladies, they're naked under their clothes, but I'm cool. Well then, I'll leave you be. I'm off to get ordained now. Maybe we'll see each other again, my low-born friends. Ta-ta! Wow, she, she gave me a kiss. I, I'm... Embarrassing. Wait, wait, wait. What, what about the statuette? Uh, later, later. Okay, okay, I still have the robes, so let's go back to the VIP room. Once there, we can... Ah! Good gods! I am back! Fuck me, look who's back. Thank you, my friends. You dealt with my evil double. The amulet, it is cursed for real. I picked it up to see if... He tried to steal my precious loot! Even if I don't really want it, no. Let's toss it, then. Fine. Anyway, doesn't anyone want to hear about what I've been through? Nah, I'm good. Huh. Uh, oh, astral energy seems to be concentrating around us. This, uh, this can't be good. Oh, no. He says that the amulet has reappeared in his bag. This means that we've been cursed! Cursed! Krom hates curses. No, I don't want to be cursed. It'll burn my beard. Men have beards. Maybe, maybe, some sort of dispel magic could... This pelt, or another, or even ten of them, can't do anything about this, my dear. What? Who's that? What the fuck? Going around in circles, aren't you? Might these adventurers, in trying to square the circle, be circling down the drain? It is now my task to drain you! Get down here so we can crush your face! I'm sure the voice came from the amulet. There really is something cosmically wrong with this artifact. We need to look into that before carrying on with our quest. Here they go again. Nobody's listening to me. Could you stop it with the size? Try being helpful instead of whiny. Despite your amusing qualities, I can't let you have this amulet. My paladins of fail will take it back from your smoking corpses. <laughs> What's the deal with those tin cans? Damn it! Cursed knights! Give us the amulet, then die. Hold your ground!
Chaos shall rule! Oh. Take this, chicken shit! Watch. Ah, ah, I missed. Wind got in my eyes. Also, I may have farted.
it moves. Ha! Watch the robe! The Ranger leveled up. That potion did look weird. Whoa, there was nothing under those suits of armor. They were naked under their clothes, too? Cursed knights are spectral minions, slaves to some powerful wizards. Or worse. Well, then why didn't we give him the amulet? If those evil beings want to take this cursed object from us, it must mean it's important. Uh, a hidden quest, perhaps? Hidden quests are with a lot of experience. Well, looky here. Looks like you've made a fine mess again. Luckily, only bits of armor to clean up this time. Uh, sorry, it seems that everyone wants us dead. No need to get paranoid. It's part of our job as adventurers. If I can't clean up faster than you splatter corpses around, Zangdar is going to be furious. Who is this Zangdar? The dungeon master, obviously. Oh, wait a minute. We were told this place was run by a co-op. Oh, right. And yet, I have strange memories about this Zangdar. Well, I have work to do. We gotta get information on him, too. But first, we gotta find out what we're gonna do about that cursed amulet. The plot thickens, so it seems. I can ask you to look back. Ah, he says that you have to mix the gravy with flour to make it thicken. Third chapter, Tricks at the Tavern. For an adventurer, there are few places more important than a tavern. It's a good spot to recruit companions, find work, do business. Or else weave plots and plan expeditions to distant lands with fabulous treasures. But most of the time, it's just somewhere to get totally shit-faced. They may be over back at the tavern. We're going in circles. This situation might indeed smell stale to the player. You mean it smells ale? It's a tavern! <laughs> Still, we've learned many important things. Two of us were replaced by evil doubles. We can't get rid of this stinking amulet. An amulet that sparked the interest of evil beings. You gotta think about this. We won't get much further on the quest for the statuette if we keep dragging around this amulet with all these monsters on our ass. We've also learned that there's a janitor that works here, so it's important to keep this place clean. We should pick up after ourselves and not leave trash lying around. Good idea. Let's toss you with the rest of the trash. Not the one reeking of sweat and ale, you walking ball of doo-doo! I'd rather smell like ale than pony shampoo. Oh, just shut up, will you? Personal hygiene aside, we should investigate this Zangdar guy the janitor was talking about. Maybe he's linked to the amulet. Look who's here. Hey, morons, I got your dough. Anyway, want to team up? Justice doesn't wait. Like my hammer. Come, um, she gets it. And she brought us the booty. Precious companions, I would be delighted to offer my melodious assistance for the peregrinations ahead. I will sing of our feats in every nook and cranny of this land. La 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 la. He's elegant and he smells good. Go did and hurt you stupid bimble. I could have some bad to laugh, buddy. He says he likes the minstrel. I'm surprised you'd mix with such sketchy characters. Nevertheless, if you still have an ounce of common sense, you should recruit a noble priestess to heal your wounds. Oh, yeah, you could totally bandage our wounds. It's a very attractive skill. Sometimes my whole body gets sore and... Ugh, here he goes again. Well, I mean, this is no easy choice. 
We could recruit them all. Are you crazy? Our shares of the loot are small enough already. So? If the Admiral Companions, our individual proportions will get slashed by the moving average of the XP, acquired by the addition of participating adventurers' levels. Is that clear? Uh, explain like I'm five. You divide the profits, and you multiply trouble. We could use another companion. This dungeon is way more difficult than we anticipated. Warning, this choice is permanent till the end of the game. I really think that the priestess has a nice set of, let's say, vital assets. Stupendous! I'll gladly join your merry flock of shoddy but promising peasants. This is gonna be a long day. Why do the boys turn red when they look at her? Because it's getting hot in here. What are you talking about? I'd already be naked if it were hot. <laughs> Chrome, stay focused, stay focused. Uh, well then, now that we're back together again, let's find a way to get rid of this amulet. Let's go to the VIP room. The adepts of the arcane arts must surely be done with their little snack. Huh? It's a fancy word for grub. Hands off my gold, my precious gold! No, stay out of my pockets. Cool. I won't look like such a nerd. A real leader needs real skills. This is way more useful than stuffing chairs. I can rock your socks off. Move out, losers. I'm the best. <laughs> New skills? 
new dangers. I'm getting better until It stinks, it's my boots. Oh, cool. The same as Craw. No way I'm giving it away. Fine craftsmanship. Do it I could have be pawned for a nice amount. Quick notes? Thank <laughs> you. 